Hey, what's up everyone? So earlier today, I was scrolling on Twitter and I stumbled on this post. The creator of Pydantic, Samuel Colvin, which by the way, I recommend you taking a look at Pydantic if you haven't already. But anyway, the creator of Pydantic posted about this new LLM library called Miroscope. So I decided to give it a quick look. Before going over Miroscope though, uh, I want I want to explain why you'd want to use it and what's the advantage of using an LLM tool like Langchain, Llama Index, Instructor, DSPy, and now Miroscope. So in short, the easiest way for me to explain why you'd want to use it is that when you're working with an LLM like GPT, something we've observed is that there are clever ways that we can prompt or ask the LLM to do something for you. Um, and some of the ways involve asking the LLM multiple questions or potentially structuring the prompt or the question in a specific way. And what some of these tools do is that they make it easier for you to handle these kind of clever ways of prompting. Um, it makes it easier for you to bring in your own data to include in the prompt and also make the LLM response code compatible. What I mean by that is that um, you get back the structure response that you can grab fields from and use the data in your code. So that's a very high level explanation on why you'd want to use an LLM, LLM tool. But let's take a look at a specific example with Miroscope. So here's an example that I pulled off of the Miroscope site, which is basically a simple chat uh, chatbot. You'll see here that we had this Pydantic model with three fields, prompt template, question, and history. Notice that in the prompt template, it requires that you have the history and question attribute. By the way, this is an example we are creating a chatbot uh, who acts as a librarian. And you'll see that in the system instructions. On line 19, we, we instantiate an object, a librarian object. Then we have a while loop. Uh, we get an input from the user, we save that in the question attribute, and then on line 22, we, we use the call method. And the call method is doing a lot of the magic under the hood and calling the LLM, and in this case, OpenAI, to get a response. We take the response and the question and we add it to the history, which we pass into the uh, LLM call. Uh, and then we also print out the response, and we continue doing that. So basically, in about 27 lines of code, we, we have an LLM based chatbot, which I think is pretty cool. So let's give it a try. So we come here and we do Python main.py. Hello, what is a good book that I should read? Nice, and it gives you back a response. So one example I didn't see Mariscope uh, included in their documents is how could we use this library with an open source or local model, a model that we're running locally. So in a past video, I showed you how we can run an open source model locally with Olama. And I wanted to test that with Miroscope uh, and see how they would work together. So let's come over here. Let's run uh, Llama 3 with Olama. So we can do run, uh, wait, I had it somewhere here. Llama run Llama 3. So that's going to start Llama 3. And if you remember from the other video, once it started, we can start, we can start querying it locally, right? I'm going to cancel this, come over here. So how can we use uh, Miroscope with, uh, with Llama 3? So what we can do is we can come here, we can set the API key, and we can put it as Olama. Then we can do, oh, there it fills in for me, base URL and call params as Llama 3. Nice, and then I, what I'll do is I'll remove importing my OpenAI API keys. And that's pretty much it. So if we come here now and we type in python main.py, give me a book. So it's taking a little bit longer because it is a smaller model and it's running locally. But there you have it. Have you read The Night Circus?
So um, I'd recommend giving Miroscope a try. Um, that's all for this video. I'll link some of the code below. And if you have any recommendations on things you'd like to see tested with Miroscope or uh, projects that we can, we can use it for, uh, let me know. That's it.